Dani Alves has almost served a year in prison awaiting a trial that will begin next month. Today, the Inside Football channel will tell you about Dani Alves' life in prison and what happened in his life over the past year. Give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and let's get into it! A little background in case someone doesn't know what happened to the world football legend. Dani Alves has been behind bars since January 20, 2023, when he was admitted to the Bryan's Tube prison in Barcelona after being accused by a 23-year-old girl who claimed that the football player sexually assaulted her in the bathroom of the reserved area of the Sutton nightclub. It happened on December 30, 2022. Dani Alves could face from 8 up to 12 years of imprisonment. Yep, guys, no jokes there. He won't be able to just act his way out of it. Alright, let's visit Brian's Tube Prison located in Barcelona. The facility where the player of the Brazilian national team is serving time consists of 14 residential modules, each of which has 72 cells on three floors. All cells have a shop where prisoners can buy basic necessities. Besides, each module has a doctor's office, a dining room, and a hairdresser's. The cells can be single or double, all equipped with a shower room. Alves has been put in module number 13. That's where people who've committed sexual crimes are punished. The total area of the complex is 14 hectares. There are several places within the area where convicts can engage in various cultural, educational, work and sports activities. For example, there is a music class, an indoor gym, a swimming pool, an assembly hall for 250 people, and a library. Alves's daily schedule is the same as of the other prisoners. His day begins at 8 a.m. and ends at 10 p.m. when the lights go out in all prison modules. Donnie has been transferred into a double cell with a total area of 6 square meters. Along with them is a compatriot named Coutinho. Don't be afraid, we are not talking about Felipe. The man we are talking about is the former bodyguard of the legendary Ronaldinho. At one time, he also worked as a bouncer in Barcelona nightclubs. He is currently serving a sentence after being convicted of sexual assault. By the way, at the entrance to the prison, Alves received a card with 100 euros on it. These are the money he can spend in a store located in the prison's territory. Spanish media claimed that the Brazilian had already bought himself four cans of tuna, a multi-pack of yogurt, a shampoo, a deodorant, and some energy drinks. The program Fiesta has spoken to a fellow prisoner of the Brazilian footballer who has given detail about the day-to-day -day life of the player in the facilities of the Catlan prison. He's in there lost and everyone says, Oh, Alves, oh, Alves. There are also rude people in the dining room when everyone is eating and they hit the glass. You faggot, rapist, he said, affirming that his situation in prison is not easy. Both Alves's physical appearance and his state of mind are not at their best after his imprisonment. He is thinner, more emaciated, he looks sad at times, he explained. There was also a report which reveals that sometimes the footballer does have privileges during his stay in prison. The player himself assures other inmates that he is innocent and that the whole thing was all planned. He says that everything was consensual, that everything was fine, a night of parting. Interestingly enough, the Brazilian comes out of his cell only to maintain physical shape. He either plays football or works out on exercise equipment. He doesn't go out, he only goes out to the sports center where he plays against another unit. If not, he stays there in the module or he goes to the day room, where the TV is, to watch it. Donny continues to play the number one game even behind bars. In particular, he took part in the 11th edition of the Inter Prison Tournament. Another trophy for Donny Alves, joked blogger Manu. In this regard, Donny equaled the accomplishment of Ronaldinho, who also featured in a prison football tournament, though it happened in Paraguay. Sometimes guests pay him a visit. Most often these are the footballer's relatives. Such visits are too hurtful for the morale of Donny, who often cries because of it. Firstly, it was Donny's wife, Joana Sanz. There is also Alves' close friend, Bruna Brasil, 
a chef who has been visiting the Brazilian star each week. As you know, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Many people from Donnie's circle turn their backs on him, but some are still supporting all this. For example, Neymar Jr. recently helped a friend financially in the amount of more than 150,000 euros, which, among other things, allowed the Brazilian to pay for the services of a lawyer for his defense in court, which is scheduled to take place on February 5th to 7th. What's more, the alleged victim asks for a compensation of 150,000 euros for physical and psychological sequels after the alleged rape in the nightclub. Coincidence? We don't think so. Perhaps the parties are looking to reach a compromise while Neymar is set to come to the rescue of his former Barcelona, PSG and international teammate. Brazilian media confirmed that it was Alves who asked his friend for such a favor and Ney agreed for it, asking his father to send money to Dani. Brazilian media outlet UOL claims that Neymar's father has transferred enough money to help in Dani Alves' defense. The sum has been used to pay a fine called mitigating indemnity for the damage cost of 150,000 euros for the Spanish courts. This amount may help reduce Don Alves' sentence in case of conviction. In addition, Alves appointed Gustavo Chisto, one of the oldest legal representatives of Neymar's father companies, as his authority in fact and removed Dino Ra Santana, his ex-wife, from the management of his assets. Marca newspaper writes, Neymar is not the only friend trying to provide support to Donny. Reports about a money transfer from Leo Messi had also been popping up in the media for a while, but unfortunately, we were unable to find confirmation of it from a more or less reliable source. Therefore, such a piece of info should be taken with a grain of salt. Still, the piece you can believe for sure is the one which says that the Brazilian hired a lawyer who defended Messi in his tax fraud trial. The name of this lawyer is Cristobal Martel. Keeping that in mind, one shouldn't rule out Lino's help with the matter. By the way, in October, Alves changed his representative to the lawyer who specialized in sexual assault and criminal law, Enes Guardiola. Throughout the year, Alves tried to get out of the prison facility, looking for various options to accomplish this task. For instance, journalist Maika Navarro states that Donnie has conducted an agreement with Joanna Sons. According to her words, the model is reportedly receiving money from Alves to delay the divorce. It is worth remembering that on March 15th, the Canary Islander confirmed her separation by means of a letter in her own handwriting on social media. But the formal divorce has not arrived. One of the reasons why this step has been delayed for the moment is the fact that being married to a Spanish woman would be the only way to demonstrate his roots in Spain and put an end to the fear that he might flee to evade Spanish justice, as his compatriot Robinho did in Italy. But in the end, this trick did not work and Dani was refused. However, later on the pages of Marca appeared a refutation of this information from Joana herself. There was also a report which claimed that the Brazilian tried to get out of prison with the help of… kids. His own kids, of course. Alves's lawyers argue that there is no way he would leave the city given that his adolescent children attend school in Barcelona. Dani Alves is able and willing to defend himself and will not evade prosecution, the appeal states. In order to avoid the risk of flight, Alves' lawyers stress that he has a life project in Barcelona, where he has always wanted his children to receive a university education. He has, therefore, registered them in Spain, where his eldest son will study the last year of high school. Nevertheless, even that attempt turned out to be unsuccessful. In June 2023, Donny gave his version of events, addressing the victim. I don't know if she has a clear conscience, if she sleeps well at night, but I forgive her. I appeal to her conscience. There hasn't been a single night that I have slept peacefully. Not a single night. I have a clear conscience. I've never harmed anyone voluntarily, and neither did I hurt her that night. I've decided to give this interview, my first interview, to give people the opportunity to know what I think. I want them to know the story based on what I experienced that morning and in that bathroom. 
Until now, a scary story of fear and terror has been told, which has nothing to do with what happened or what I did. I went in behind her. I didn't even lock the door. The door was open at all times. She could have left because I was sitting practically the whole time on the toilet seat. It occurs to me that someone gave her bad advice, that she felt bad after doing it, that she took a step forward and that she didn't know how to get out of the mess she got herself into and the mess she got me into. The only person I have to apologize to is my wife, Joanna Sons. Donny Alves says, It'll be by his side. A relationship is one thing, but he's my family. Joanna claimed in June 2023, but since then, pretty shocking events have happened. Firstly, there was an Instagram attack from Donny Alves' mother, Maria Lucia. If you feed a dog for three days, he will remember you for 30 years. And if you feed a person for 30 years, he will forget you in three days. Everyone accepted these words unambiguously. In July, reports about Joanna's decision to divorce Donnie were actively spreading in the media, as a result of which the girl began to receive unsettling threats. You're gonna die, bitch. The model shared one of the messages she received. We'll find you anywhere, bitch. You make fun of your husband after he apologizes to you, bitch. We are authorized to kill you. Joanna had decided to move to Madrid and it's there where she pursues her career and tries to live on. At the same time, distancing yourself as much as possible from Donny Alves and his life. But threats just kept on coming. I feel fear. This person has been threatening me for months. I've blocked him, she said. However, the person in question continued to threaten the model through her friends. Thus, Joana made some inquiries about this online stalker. He has charges in Brazil for possession of weapons, domestic violence, and other crimes, Joanna explained in her full text on social media. Needless to say, the past year turned out to be an absolute hell for Joanna. On top of all mentioned circumstances, she had lost her mother. At some point, the girl even thought about committing suicide. To this, we add that my husband failed me in the hardest moment of my life. I've already said it. I had a suicide attempt because I couldn't take it anymore. Here's what Joanna told her followers. Now Joanna wants to get a divorce, though Alves doesn't rush to meet his wife's demands. And this is how things are, folks. This is how Donny Alves lives now, and very soon, we will find out the verdict in his controversial case. The Inside Football channel was with you. Give us a like if you enjoyed this video. Send it to your friends who may also be interested in the fate of the legend of Barcelona and the Brazilian national team. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.